This is the crossroads of the Germanoplank Road and the Orange Turnpike. In May of 1864, for three days, this was probably the busiest crossroads in North America. Tens of thousands of Union troops descended on this crossroads as they advanced toward the Wilderness Battlefield. Uh, some of them going directly west on what is today Route 20, the Orange Turnpike, uh, into battle around Saunders Field. Many others going south along the Germana Plank Road to battle along the Orange Plank Road, uh, today's Route 621. Uh, thousands of men passed through here, wagons, ambulances, most of the Army of the Potomac's field hospitals were set up near this intersection. Today it's been abandoned. Uh, all that there remains are the faint traces of the original roads that stood here. Uh, it's one of the evocative places on the battlefield, one that is rarely seen by visitors. Uh, but with the road having been moved uh, a couple hundred yards to the northwest about 90 years ago, uh, this place has been left in the backwater, largely forgotten. The crossroads is an important place, not just because the Union Army descended on this crossroads on May 5th and 6th, but because on May 7th, it made one of the most dramatic turns, one of the most dramatic moments in the Army of the Potomac's history. Prior to the Battle of the Wilderness, armies, especially Union armies on Civil War battlefields, had entered battle, clashed, accepted the verdict of battle, and then the loser traditionally retreated, uh, the winner claimed the ground, and they would reform and do it all over again at some other time. Uh, but this time, Grant, and this is maybe his greatest legacy in Virginia, rendered the tactical outcome of an individual battle almost irrelevant. And he did it through determination. The Battle of the Wilderness was a draw. Uh, a year before, faced with a draw, a Union Army probably would, withdraw, would have, probably would have withdrawn back across the Rapidan and the Rappahannock Rivers, but not Grant. Uh, he decided to push onward. And on the night of May 7th, 1864, in one of the dramatic scenes of the war, uh, the men holding the Union lines around this intersection were pulled out of the intersection and told to march. And the great question was, would they march back across the river or would they continue on toward Richmond? And as they reached this crossroads, the Army continued onward, southward on the Germana Plank Road. They did not turn back across the rivers they moved forward. And when the Army itself realized that this was Grant's decision, when the Army realized that it was heading into more battles, when the Army realized that its sacrifices, its losses on the wilderness battlefield would not simply be chalked up to stalemate and uh, redone over again later, when the Army realized that Grant was determined to move forward to win victory no matter the cost, the Army that would pay that cost, cheered. Uh, cheers rang across this landscape, up and down the Union columns, uh, as they realized they were heading south toward Richmond, rather than north, back across the river. This historic intersection, where two ancient roads come together, the Orange Turnpike and the Germana Plank Road, is largely forgotten by visitors, unknown to visitors today. Uh, the National Park Service, while all of the land was within the boundary of the park, we only own a small fraction of the land around the intersection itself. We hope to acquire all of it over time. And we hope too to open this area to visitors where they can walk these ancient road traces, uh, walk the footsteps of the soldiers, the tens of thousands of Union soldiers who pass through this intersection. Uh, trails, perhaps one linking this intersection with Elwood across Wilderness Run, uh, other exhibits, uh, public programs, We'd love to be able to bring visitors down into this area and reconnect them with the rear area of the Union Army. Now, usually the rear area of armies is not a terribly interesting or important place, but here, because of Grant's presence and because of the momentous turn on the night of May 7th when the Union Army marched south rather than north, uh, this intersection, this rear area, uh, holds a special significance because in many ways it is around this intersection that the indications that the war had changed came to the Army first.